Dry storms are formed when rising masses of hot air collide with areas of moist air high in the atmosphere. As the two mix, they generate clouds and winds. As the cycle continues, the clouds grow bigger and the winds faster. At the top of the storm, ice forms and then falls, melting as it goes, normally falling as rain. But the storm is so high and the air below it so warm, it evaporates before it hits the ground. Fire is one of the few forces in nature that can defy gravity. It goes faster uphill than down. As the trees ignite at the bottom of a slope, the heat and flames rise, priming the trees further up. Now add the winds, and the fire is rapidly driven uphill. On the other side of the slope, firefighters set smaller fires, which quickly burn up all the available fuel, so that when the main fire reaches the top, there is nothing ahead of it left to burn. It stalls and dies. It's an effective weapon against major fires, but it doesn't always work. But it is what is happening inside the storm that will reignite the crisis. As the ice crystals collide, they create positive and negative charges. This explosive energy is released as lightning. From a storm of this size, there can be over a hundred strikes in a minute, each one capable of lighting a fire. Gusts of wind from the storm drive low-lying flames up the trunks of trees into the uppermost branches. It is now transforming into the most dangerous type of wildfire, a crown fire. Feeding off the flammable vapor and parched leaves, the flames can reach up to three times the height of the trees, creating towering columns of flames up to 40 meters high. Once a fire has crowned, its spread drastically accelerates as the wind can drive the fire straight from one treetop to the next. Once the fire is burning over a 30 or 40 meter high wall, so you've got a wall of flame of 40 meters in height. So you can imagine it, you can't um, get to it with a garden hose, you can't get to it with a fire truck. The dead man zone is the most hazardous place a firefighter can be caught. It's the area of unburnt land to the side of a fire front. The danger is if the wind changes direction. The fire can swing round suddenly and create a whole new, larger front with fresh fuel to burn. Any firefighter in this zone will have little or no time to escape. As the two fire fronts join, the perfect firestorm is born. The incredible heat generated by the single fire causes the air above it to rise at up to 180 kilometers per hour, in the process sucking in cooler air from ground level, just like a chimney. The fire now takes on a life of its own, becoming a self-sustaining, unstoppable firestorm. With temperatures peaking at over 2,000 degrees Celsius, as it grows, the winds around it cause it to rotate, creating swirling, superheated vortices similar to tornadoes. 